What's going on guys? Astro here with Hidden Profits Crypto, a channel focused on bringing you the best low cap hidden gems, turning you a smart risk, high reward investor. So uh, today we're going to be a little bit different, a little off script. Um, we're just going to kind of take a minute to talk about uh, the market, including Luna and that whole debacle. Um, and just kind of a message that I wanted to get across specifically to my viewers and anybody else who watches this uh, video because it's something that I feel is really getting missed uh, in the crypto space. Um, so, you know, let's just go ahead and basically get into it. Now, I'm going to keep this video pretty much uh, us just chilling and talking and just looking at stuff. Um, so, you know, look at Luna, man. It's, it, it's very, very rough uh, to see. You know, last month uh, I was looking at the chart. We were at this was at an all time high. I don't want to say we because personally, uh, I have never bought a single dime of Luna uh, or put any of my money into UST. Um, I have never talked about it here on the channel. And honestly, I don't know why. I just had a bad feeling about Luna pretty much this entire time. Um, as weird as it might sound, uh, a lot of times when the masses or just like the large, um, you know the normal average person um when they start swarming around something um personally it kind of sets off red flags for me um with the whole like doge and shiba situation um it was kind of the same thing uh, i'm more apt to stay away from projects or really just anything in life where the whole just like i said the masses kind of swarm around it um to me that is not a good sign um, and there was just always something about Luna that just gave me a odd vibe and I really don't know how to describe it. I might just sound like I'm just saying that now, um, you know, in hindsight, but I genuinely, I don't know. I, I don't know what it was, um, but Luna just never felt right to me. Um, you know, they're promising all these APYs. Um, you know, there's so many like arbitrage, like do this and, and then you turn that coin into this so you're like you're getting b luna and then you're turning b luna into this and you're putting it on this platform and you're staking it and then you're taking that uh and you're you're borrowing off of it and then you're using that borrowed um you know terra to go buy the like that's just i don't know to me that's just too much um it's a lot of work uh it's a lot of moving money around and just it never seemed interesting to me um but without me just rambling um you know we're seeing a one cent luna which is uh it's insane i've personally never seen anything like this uh in the crypto space i did get into crypto uh in 2018 like close to the end um like middle to end of the bear market you know you had um ethereum at like 80 bucks bitcoin at like three to four grand uh, XRP at like 10 cents, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, I guess I've never seen a fall from like a b uh, bull market like peak uh, and then coming down to like where we're at now. Um, so I guess I've never experienced that. But even back in 2018 or 2017, 2018, that uh, bear market that we went went into, I don't think we ever seen anything um, on a scale like we are with Luna. Now that was the main reason why I wanted to really make this video um, is because I think this is really showing um, the average sentiment in crypto one is that a lot of people are losing money. Obviously, um, you know, if we just look here at the market, I mean, every single thing is red besides Chia's up 2% today, which is very weird. Um, but you know, Bitcoin right now is sitting at 28,300. Um, we did break that 30K, which is just rough. Um, just not good really at all um, and I really do think we go lower from here uh, personally you can see that we retested that resistance that I had marked right here uh, and you know it rejected and I just assume we're gonna keep going down uh, where to I don't know but something I wanted to talk about I guess I'll just get into it um, is I am seeing a ton of people uh, specifically on Twitter talking about how they've lost everything and they just don't know what to do. Um, you know, people saying that they've lost their uh, children's college funds. Um, you know, I'm hearing things of people refinancing their house and they put it all into Luna and now they're just completely wrecked. Um, I don't know if this is people just kind of talking on Twitter. Uh, maybe they want attention. I'm sure there are some legitimate people out there um, that did do those things. 
Um, but that's why I wanted to make this video and remind everybody and specifically my viewers, if you watch this channel, you should not be putting any amount of money into crypto that you cannot lose. The fact that people are actually going out there and taking their entire like children's college fund of like thirty, fifty thousand dollars and putting it into a cryptocurrency is insane to me. And this is coming from somebody who literally like this is what I do, right? Like I make YouTube videos. I'm constantly involved with crypto, all these different communities and projects and things like that. And I love crypto and I really do believe in it. And I do believe that blockchain like technology and just all the innovations that are coming from the crypto um, you know, tech side of things. I really do think they're going to be revolutionary and completely change the world, but it's still very, very, very high risk. It's still a very liquid asset. And I don't understand why people are getting the sense of security that you can take something like that and put it into crypto. It's just not, it's not the right idea. And I don't know if this maybe is from the fact that people got into, um, you know, I think Dogecoin brought a lot of new people into the market, which is a good thing. But I think Dogecoin gave a lot of people the wrong idea of how this market works. A lot of people thought, well, if I just invest $100 into Doge, I'll make, I don't know, wake up with 10 grand in my uh, wallet the next day. And that's not going to happen. Like, yeah, sure. You heard about the Doge millionaire guy that like took all the money that he had and put on the line and got lucky and ended up like a millionaire. But he never sold. He literally held that money. As far as I know, he never sold that Doge. So he watched it sit there and be at millions of dollars. And it's just rode all the way down. Like, I don't even know what Doge is at. Let's let's look. Um, eight cents. Dude, you literally rode it all the way from the top all the way back down and then people want to do this same thing they want to take all their money that they can't afford to lose and throw it into something like dogecoin and then be surprised when they lose it all now i'm not saying that luna uh and ust were like destined to fail and that they're complete shit coins because i don't actually think that but at the end of the day it's not a for 100 like you know 100 percent thing it's just not like you can literally wake up tomorrow and every bit of money you have in crypto is gone. Like when I'm investing money into Cadena and Flux, I'm doing so because I genuinely believe that those two projects will be insanely big in the future. Like I can't even probably put into words where it might be in the future. Like if you think of Flux as the decentralized version of Amazon Web, Web Services, AWS, right? that project could be huge i mean aws is like a 500 billion dollar uh you know thing it's worth like 500 billion dollars so if you imagine that flux could be worth 500 billion right like those coins could be worth like a grand in the future per coin right but that's not for sure i'm doing i'm investing in these things because i believe in them but i'm doing that with the with the idea in the back of my head that i could lose it all tomorrow and that's something I just think is getting lost in this market. I think this bear market really put the idea in people's heads that it's just only up, right? Like that's that's all the market does. It's only up. I throw my money in wherever and then I'm going to just be rich. And that's not how this is. That's why on this channel, I try to focus on good projects and not, you know, shilling you a bunch of shit coins, which is something I'm more than likely going to make another video about in the future. Um, about these influencers just completely wrecking you guys, honestly. And any project that I put here on this channel, I put on here because I actually believe that it's going to do something, right? Like it doesn't matter if um, maybe a project comes to me and they want me to make a video about it and they're willing to pay me. If I don't actually believe in that project, I will not show it to you guys. That's just all there is to it. I don't care if they wave however much money in front of my face, it does not matter because at the end of the day, making sure that my viewers are one, like not just getting completely wrecked is more important to me than any, than any amount of money. Right? So that's something a lot of people need to keep in mind is that these influencers, these people on YouTube that you guys are watching, they're telling you, Oh, this, this coin, it's going to go, it's going to do this. It's going to do that. 10 X, 20 X. They probably have their hand in the cookie jar. That's something you guys need to keep in mind. A lot of these people, when they're shilling something, they are 
it, it's benefiting them. They're not just talking about it because they just want to, right? Like I talk about Cadena because I love it. I talk about Flux because I love it. I talk about these projects because I believe in them. And I really do genuinely think that all of them could bring you good profit. Now, am I right? Is every single project I've ever shown on this channel, um, you know, gone to the moon? Of course not. And that's just something that you have to know when you're investing in crypto. Not every single project is going to be the best, but that's why we try to use, um, you know, we have a system, at least I have a system, um, a thing that I go through like a checklist almost to make sure that these projects are what they're supposed to be. You know, you want a good team that is serious about the project and going to keep it going. And I'm not saying that the Luna team uh, wasn't serious about keeping it going, but I think um, they made mistakes and those mistakes cost them the entire project. And it didn't just cost them the entire project. It cost every single person that is in that project a lot of money. I mean, there's, there's people talking about um, people killing themselves over this. And that's horrible, man. I never want to hear that. I never want to hear that somebody was trying to um, invest money in something that they thought was going to better their life. And because they made that decision and they made a wrong decision, now it cost them their life. And that is horrible. I mean, it's just horrible. And it really sucks to hear. And, and that's why I think another thing is people got to focus on their mental health. Um, yesterday on Twitter, I, I put a tweet out. I was saying like, now is a great time to take a break. If you've been grinding through crypto, this entire uh, bull market, if you've been just constantly staring at the charts, constantly staring at the prices, constantly looking for opportunities here, there, looking, researching for new coins, this kind of, you know, it can get very, very, very wearing on you. That's why from time to time, I will take some breaks, um, even making videos, because if I feel like the market is not going in a good direction, if I feel like my mental health is not going in a good direction, if I feel like just in general, things just need to kind of slow down, you need to take the time and, and give yourself the time to clear your head and just chill out. Go hang out with your family, go do some hobbies, go do some stuff that's gonna make you feel better because losing your life, taking your own life over a virtual currency that doesn't even actually physically exist. And even, even that, the money itself, it's not worth more than your life ever. It doesn't matter the amount, you can make that money back. So, and, and that's a thing, like when you're taking something like your, your, your children's college fund, like I literally heard about somebody on Twitter uh, saying that that's what they did. Like, oh, I lost my, enti uh, my, my children's entire college fund. Uh, on Luna. Why? Why would you do that? Not only why would you put yourself in that position to take that risk, that is a risk that you just do not want to take. We talk on this channel about smart risk, not high risk, not low risk, but smart risk. It's in between low and high risk, but it's smart because you know what you're getting yourself into. You know that there's fundamentals to back up what you're what you're doing. You don't know when you're taking fifty thousand dollars that's supposed to go towards your children's future, and you're putting that into a random, uh, you know, Luna's not random, but you're you're putting it into a a virtual currency that is still very liquid. It's still not like this whole market is still finding its 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 footing in this world. And that's another thing I don't think people understand. We're not as established as the stock market. If you listen to people on podcasts and things like this of like talking to millionaires, every single one of them will mention uh, that they have their money in stocks. Every once in a while you'll hear somebody mention that they have their money in crypto. But what they what I noticed is their allocation in crypto is always very, very minuscule compared to everything else. And why is that? Because they know it's a high risk asset. They know it's more of a risk to not put any money in at all than it is to just put a little bit in and know that you could possibly lose it. But I don't understand why people are taking money that they just literally cannot live without and putting it in the crypto market. As soon as that money goes into a crypto coin, you should just assume that it's not there anymore. Not saying that you should just be stupid and just be like, oh, well, I'm just gonna throw all my money in here and I'm just assuming it's gone, so it's gone. You should still be making investments with the assumption that you're um, investing in something legitimate that could be making you profit, but it should be money that you can be okay with if you're never gonna see it again. That's the thing that people, I feel like, are really, really losing and 
it's just it it hurts to see and then when you see something like this um you know i i've never seen a chart this heinous in my entire uh life looking at crypto i mean this looks like a rug pull this genuinely looks like a rug pull and i know that uh the luna community um will probably get a little upset about that but i mean if this was any other coin it'd be considered a rug pull and that's just all there is to it like if this was uh you know a coin that had the name um had inu in the name or some dog coin of some sort um it would be a rug pull but because this is um, you know, Luna's on a ton of exchanges. It's got a huge community. Um, you know, all this people don't look at it as a rug pull. It just, oh, it's just a project that, that went wrong. And I'm not saying that this is a rug pull, but this shows the risk. It doesn't matter if the coin's in the top 10. It doesn't matter um, how much research you do, how much you like the developers, how much, um, you know, even if it's a stable coin. I think this is showing how risky even stable coins can be it doesn't matter if it's gonna stay at a dollar that's what they say things happen life happens you can never predict it so um you know i've been rambling for like 15 minutes now i guess we'll, we'll wrap this up but the main thing i just wanted to get across uh to the viewers is one take a break step back take a deep breath and just clear your head because you're gonna make the best decisions when your head is clear and you're not letting your emotions get ahead of you. Your emotions will wreck you 100% of the time. So if you're feeling emotional right now with the whole market situation, just take a step back. And secondly, there's a ton of good opportunities and a ton, a ton of lifetime opportunities. In my personal opinion, I, I think these prices that we're seeing right now, uh, specifically with Cadena, um, I am not worried at all. I am going to be stacking and buying Cadena. It doesn't matter how low it goes. I will continue to buy it because I really genuinely believe in it. But these prices can keep going down. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. And, and also, don't put any money into the market that you cannot afford to lose. Don't refinance your house and take $400,000 and throw it into Bitcoin or throw it into... I don't know anything. Just don't do it. It's not a good call. Now, if you make a shit ton of money a year and you can afford to take some of that money and and kind of, you know, consider it like, um, I don't know. I don't want to say gambling because crypto isn't gambling and I don't like it when people say that crypto is the same as gambling because it's not. Um, because if you know what you're putting your money into, that's it's not gambling. Um, but just, just don't do it. Only the money that you can afford. Take a minute, chill out, come back, wait until these markets find some stable you know foot ground so we can we can work our way back up it's probably going to be you know keep going down until we find a bottom and then it'll probably go sideways and it could go sideways for months it could go sideways for a year it could go sideways until the next bitcoin having we really don't know um so just understand that uh, i just wanted to make this video because this is just i've been seeing it the last couple of days and it upsets me to see other people upset and making choices that maybe they didn't know any better. And I don't blame the people who are doing this because, you know, uh, crypto is still very new. People are still learning. Uh, there's not a lot of people to stop you and tell you not to make the mistakes you're making. And that's why on this channel, I try to give you guys some tips and, and things that I've personally done wrong um, that I think, um, you know, you guys shouldn't have to make the mistake if I've already made it and I can, can show you. Um, what to do and, and not to make the same mistakes, you know, uh, I think that's a very important um, value in life is to learn from other people's mistakes. That way you don't have to make the mistake and learn from it yourself. So uh, with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope everybody can stay strong and pull through these very, very rough times in the crypto market that we're currently having. Um, I love each and every one of you. Um, you know, if you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, you got a friend that, uh, is having a rough time right now, send him this video, tell him it'll all be all right, him, her, they, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, make sure, check on your friends that are into crypto, make sure everybody's good. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video until then. Peace.